Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. Now continuing with our topic on the automation obstacles. So let's look at our next obstacle, which is related to XML and uh, how we can find something in the XML and also how we can enter that into a particular text box, right? So this particular obstacle is quite complex. Uh, because we have to use a number of different engines. Okay, so here we need to click on this load box and then uh, XML structure will be loaded into this particular text area. Okay, so uh, you can see this is currently disabled, right? So we cannot directly search from here and then we need to also enter the ISBN of a particular book name, which is testing computer software, right? So we need to search through the XML, find the ISBN, uh, which title is this, and then we need to enter that into the text box. Now, in order to uh, resolve this particular obstacle, we need to use a couple of engines, like we need to use the browser engine in order to click on the button or in order to buffer the text, uh, which is present here, and then uh, also in order to enter it into the text box. We also need to use the file engine so that we can create a new XML file and then we need we can enter the text in present here into that particular XML file. We also need to scan the XML file and also we need to then use the XML engine to basically find the ISBN with this particular book title. Okay, so as you can see, there are lots of moving parts in this particular obstacle and it's a very good a way of practicing what you have learned until now in Tosca. So let's go ahead and let's try to resolve this particular obstacle or let's try to uh, automate this particular obstacle using Tosca. Okay, so coming back to our Tosca workspace, um, let's go to our module section and here uh, we will go to the obstacles. And then uh, I'm going to scan this particular application here. Okay, before that, uh, I will just uh, refresh this page so that we are back to the original state of this page. And then I'm going to scan this page. Okay, so initially, uh, we just require the load box link. Okay, and then we require uh, the text area and then we require the text field where we need to enter the ISBN. Okay, so these are the three controls which we require. Uh, and then uh, we can save this and we can close this, okay? Uh, I'm going to copy this particular obstacle ID so that I can uh, rename this module name as per this, okay? Uh, this time around, I'm also going to create a folder, okay? Uh, now I'm going to tell you why I'm doing this later on, but for now uh, we are going to create this folder and we are going to place it, this module inside this particular folder. Okay. Okay, so I'm, go I'm going to rename this to load XML, right? And uh, we are going to put this, the obstacle number, right? Right, uh, and then uh, we are going to go to our test cases section here again. Uh, we will go to our obstacles where we have been creating all the test cases. Uh, we are going to create our next obstacle test case. Uh, again, we are going to use the same obstacle number. Okay, and then uh, we are simply going to uh, put this module right here. Okay, and then uh, the first thing which we need to do here is obviously to load the XML, right? So we need to click on this particular link and then uh, the XML text will be loaded in this particular box text area, okay? And what we will do is we will basically buffer this particular text, okay? So we will store it into a particular uh, buffer name. So I'm going to call this buffer XML text. After this, right, uh, we need to create a particular file and then we need to uh, write this particular text into that file, okay? So now uh, we are going to search for a test step uh, which is called create 
uh, so tbox read create file, right? So this is uh, the module which I want. And here uh, we are going to write it into a particular directory, right? So I'm going to write it into this particular directory. Okay. And uh, the file name will be books.xml and the text uh, will be the buffer. Okay. So I'm going to use the buffer which I have created earlier. So I'm going to call it XML text. Okay, and then in override, I'm going to set it to true, okay? So what this will do is it will basically write the content of this particular text which has been generated and it will write it into a file called box.xml, okay? So I'm going to say write XML file. So this is the test step. So now uh, we are going to uh, first of all execute this so that we can see that XML file is created with that particular text. And then uh, we need to scan that particular XML file. Okay, so let's go ahead and execute these two steps for now. Okay. So as you can see, it clicked on the load box and then the text was generated. Uh, it buffered the text and then it created a file and then uh, it wrote the text into that particular file, okay? Uh, if I go to that location, you will see the books.xml file is present here. Although I had that file already, it will also overwrite the text if that particular file is already present, okay? So if now I open this, you will see that it has got the particular text which was generated, okay? And uh, we are looking for a particular title. Right, so we are looking for this particular title and we want the ISBN, which is like an ID. So we want this number and then we need to enter this number into the text box. Okay, so these are the uh, remaining things which we need to do. Now, in order to do this, right, uh, there are a couple of ways to do this, but I'm going to follow a different approach here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan uh, the XML file and that can be done using the scan option, you will, should go to more and here you will find a file scan option, okay? Now, if I go to file scan, I can directly uh, browse any particular file. In this case, it is an XML file. So I'm going to browse this, okay? And it is going to create a module for this particular file, right? So I am going to call this books XML. Okay, and uh, you will see it contains a uh, resource and then it contains the uh, all the nodes for that particular XML file. Okay, now uh, what we can do is we can go back to our test case and then we can add our third test step, which is uh, this particular module, right? And here uh, I'm going to say search book title. Now, before this, we need to add another step, which is to open the XML file, because until now we haven't actually opened the XML file, right? So let's go ahead and let's search for another test step. And this time it will be open XML. Okay, so this one, and then um, I'm going to drag this uh, and put it before the search book title. So this is going to open uh, the XML file, we need to provide it a resource. I'm going to call it uh, books. And then uh, the file path, which will be this, okay? After this, uh, we will write books.xml. So this is going to open the XML file. I'm going to rename this to reflect that particular test step. And then we are going to search for the book title, right? Again, the resource uh, should be same. Whatever you are opening uh, for the XML file, whatever resource you passed, the same name should be passed here. So the reference is passed here. And then um, in the catalog, we can search for that particular title, okay? So what is the title is this 
testing computer software, right? So I'm going to copy this particular title here and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so instead of verify, uh, we are going to put it as a constraint, okay? Now this uh, constraint, what it will do, it will search for this particular title and then it will filter it out, right? So that that particular uh, node will be filtered out from the rest of the XML, right? And after that, uh, what we can do, we can buffer the respective ISBN for this particular book title, okay? Now I'm going to give it a buffer name. So I'm going to call it B underscore ISBN. So now this uh, will basically search the book title and then grab the ISBN and store it in a buffer. Now the last step which uh, is pending is to just write it into the text box. So write our result into the text box, right? So we are going to again use the same module here. Uh, I'm going to rename this. So we are going to say enter ISBN, okay? And here we are just going to use this particular text box. Okay, so here uh, we'll be entering buffer B underscore ISBN. Okay, so this is what we are going to input. So now uh, the complete test case is completed. So I'll change the work state to completed here. So as you can see, there are lots of different steps here, right? So first uh, we clicked on the link, we generated the XML text. Then uh, we wrote that text into a particular file. And then we opened that particular XML file. Then uh, we read the XML file and we searched for the title. We got the ISBN, we buffered the ISBN. And finally we entered the ISBN uh, in in the input text box, right? So now this is completed. Now let's go ahead and uh, run this again, okay? So I'm going to refresh this page. This time around, we are going to run the complete steps. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it has entered the particular uh, ISPN for that particular book title. Now, if you want to verify that, you can easily do that. Go to your books XML and you can see the particular ISPN. So this is how you can resolve this complex automation problem. Uh, we have to use different engines like the XML engine and uh, the browser engine. Then we need to use different standard modules like we have to use uh, the create file standard module. We have to use the open XML file module uh, we have to use a buffer at several places to buffer the values. So we have to use a lot of different things uh, in this particular automation problem. And it's a good test, as I said earlier, of your uh, Tosca skills in order to automate this particular problem. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.